How's it going my dudes? Welcome back to another video. So for today, we're going to take a look at how to get stronger because in this game, uh, what you what you naturally see is you the, the, the modes get really, really difficult really fast, okay? So uh, maybe the first bottleneck that you would see is the sandworm, all right? And that, that occurs very, very early on in the game, okay? So with that said, uh, all hope is not lost. It is still possible to gain a whole lot of power to power through the stage and I will show you how to do that in just a moment. So the first step is to go to upgrade units. So this is the most obvious way, okay? So instead of just doing quests, you can also upgrade a unit directly via the upgrade system which just, you just donate a bunch of books to him and then he'll, he'll get the knowledge that he needs to become more and more powerful, okay? So for example, uh, what am I doing? 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 Boom. Okay, so for example, I gained two levels like this. Um, but for you, you should be able to gain a whole lot more levels, especially when you are much closer to the level one, right? So you see, in two levels, I gained 200 HP, which is huge, uh, five attack, a bunch of other stats, which is really, really nice. Uh, and not only that, uh, this, this is one way to gain stats, all right? Immediate stats. Another way is to actually use Scroll of Secrets, and I have seven of them. And as you can see, each of these scrolls, they do give you a little bit of stats. A little bit. Just a little bit. Um, but it's good enough. It, it gets it gets the little bit, right? It gets more and more as your character gets higher and higher level. Okay, so it's like a percentage gain in your character's growth. Okay, so currently my Shires is at plus seven. So he has uh, a little bit more stats that way, okay? Um so how do you get that, that scroll that, that you just seen me use, right? Uh, you can get it by going to event, uh, day of the week, and look at 29k. So there you go, uh, scroll of secrets. When you do a 29k uh, mission, that's where you can get more scroll of secrets. Of course, this is not the only place. You can, not, you can also do it at the 9k. It does drop as well, but the probability of it dropping is much less. If you go on to the auto loop quest, you would see some, uh, like for example, Lone Island Training Grounds. These are where you can do your, you can do these quests every single day and they do drop training manuals. So this is where you can grind a whole bunch of them. For me, I prefer doing the 8 energy training, uh, training modes, which is, I believe is in a day of the week. Yes, uh, training grounds on a sandy island shore. Uh, so it only, it only opens up on Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday. Uh, the other training grounds opens up on the other days. So this is where for the 8 energy, not the 14 energy, for the 8 energy, I really prefer doing this because it drops a lot more books in terms of the energy that, that's required. All right, and next we go to upgrade weapons. So this is the second step that you need to improve your character stats a lot. This is really, really obvious, of course. Uh, so you click on your weapon that you want to upgrade, you give it some materials and you just keep upgrade. And where do you get these materials? You get them uh, not by doing quests. You you do quests for those little coupons, okay? Those little summon coupons. Um, most quests will give you summon coupons, and then that's where you do a little uh, summon like that. And you may get some good weapons out of this, but most of the time it's just going to be fodder, right? So with this fodder, you can use it to upgrade the weapon that you are using. And that, that's about it for the weapon, okay? So for the weapon, it's just increasing this level and increasing this level cap, okay? So for example, we take a look at my uh, dual around lights, around lights. Look at the top right. Okay, so there's four, there's four crystals over there, right? Four crystals. So that means that I can I can limit break this weapon four times. But in order for me to limit break, I will need either a duplicate of the weapon itself or gold steel. Okay, and how do you get gold steel? Um, this gold steel is like it's like a it's an item that limit limit breaks all kinds of SSR weapons. So you don't even need like dupes of it. So you can get gold steel by going to the shop at the main at the main screen. Um, it is at trading post, all the way at the bottom, right? Okay, with gold steel for gold steel, I'll need ten of these gold pellets. Okay, so you can get a you can. Uh, I'm not exactly sure where you can get these gold pellets, but I'm pretty sure that there is a free to play way of doing so. It's probably like events or stuff, um, or maybe in like one of these. You know, like I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Okay, so that's a that's a thing that I'm not sure. I've not actually come across anything that gives out gold steel, but that's how you upgrade your weapon, okay? So the weapon stats actually increases by a lot. So I'm just gonna give you an example, okay? So let's upgrade um, maybe this stuff, okay? Let's get it to level six, okay? Immediately level six. Let's see what the gain is. So in five levels, the stat gain is about 10 attack and 10, 15 magic attack, right? 
So it's about two attack and three magic attack per level up, something like that. So that's a really good, that's a really good gain as well. And finally, we look at where most of your stats will come from. Okay, so it's not really your hero's level, although your hero's level does uh, contribute to this, and it's not your weapons, but it's actually your accessory. Okay, so let's take a look at one of my better accessories. This is not the one. This one. Okay, look. So this accessory that I crafted. Okay, accessories are not. Uh, you cannot summon them, you can only craft them. As you can see, I have an auto skill that increases my defense and magic defense by 25%. Okay, so it's even it's even larger than the, the sigil auto skill, which is uh, when you pair two of the steel type sigils together, you, you get extra 20% stats. This is something that's a bit, little bit foreign to you, but you will unlock this along as you play the game and you will understand how it works. Okay, so um, craft your accessories because they give you a whole lot of stats. So with just with just this sigil itself, I'm getting 45% because I have I'm pairing it with uh, another steel type sigil over here. Okay, so uh let's take a look at what sigils are. So let's create an accessory. Let's create this. Okay, so as you can see, if you want to craft a sigil, uh your units have expert special special specialty normal 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 or whatever. Okay, so depending on the unit that you have they are much better off at crafting specific sigils. So as you can take a look at the... Uh, just above the units, you can see like the sigils, the four sigils they are changing. So for example, for the main character, right, he's, he's an expert at crafting Stout, Swift, Vital and Calm, which means that if you craft these, you are more likely to get much higher rarity... Uh, much higher rarity accessories. So let's craft six and let's see what we get. So as you can see, wow, I just got myself a, an SSR bracelet just like that so this is extremely lucky though so i'm definitely going to keep this because i can definitely put it to work however it is a calm sigil set so that's another thing for you to take note of okay so it's not always going to be the exact set that you need okay so for sigil uh i'm not going to be looking for calm that much and then like we have like a bunch of other useless ones like uh increase flat attack increase whatever okay and then you know when you upgrade this sigil uh by upgrading it like that, you use materials to level it up, and as and let's let's just do this for the for the video's sake. Okay, so hopefully we can get it to level three. Boom, boom, boom. Um, consume all the. Okay, good. So now I'm level three, and here's what happens. So every three levels you increase, you will. Wow, that's huge. Okay, every three levels you increase, you will increase one of your random substats. All right, your sub auto skills. You increase one of them randomly. So level 3, level 6, level 9, and level 12. The maximum level is level 15, but you can't gain any stats at level 15. I mean, you, you won't increase any of your sub-auto skills at level 15. You only increase your main auto skill uh, by a lot. So it's, it's very familiar if you have played games like uh, Summoner's War, right? Where, they have, where there's a rune system, this is similar to that. So as you can see, right now, uh, my max HP is increased to plus 15%. So if I upgrade it to plus 6 or to plus 9, I can further increase it. Um, but since I only have three slots, if I upgrade it to plus twelve, it actually adds a fourth subset. Not, it doesn't add to the existing stats that you already have. Okay, so it's it's really similar to a rune system. So this is this is really amazing in terms of improving your team. So I, I need to think of whether I want to use that that rune right now because it's obviously really really good. So I have to think about that. Right. So that's where most of your stats will come from eventually. That's where the big growth of your units come from. All right. So with that, uh, you'd be able to do like crazy amounts of damage. So let's take a look at doing uh, like some rather difficult quests. Let's try to do a 29k, shall we? And then let's see how... <clears throat> just how much damage um, we can do like with the accessory. So I've only been playing this game for like a couple of days. Uh, completely free to play. Completely free to play. And I've, I've been getting... A lot of uh, a lot of mileage in terms of uh, just character progression in general. All right, so my 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 units are like I noticed that during the sandworm fight, during the sandworm fight, I was like severely low in power, right? Because that's like where the first bottleneck is, and it's really early on in the game as well. But with the upgrading of accessories, everything changes.
Yeah, I'm really really enjoying Shias, my, my leading character. So, um, because I'm looking for more units to craft weapons for me, uh, not weapons, accessories, I think I shall do a bunch of summons after this video, okay? Because I still have a whole lot of gems unused. I still have, um, I think, 40 pools. Right? I have about 4,000 gems, so let's do a bunch of pools. I'm not looking so much for new units, I'm just looking for, yeah, like I said, units to who are expert in crafting whatever accessories, okay? So, oh yeah, I haven't mentioned, like, how do you craft accessories, I mean, where do you get materials to craft accessories? You do it by doing your quest, okay? So, your standard quests that you can do every single day, they do drop, like, uh, little stones, like spark stones, um, splash stones, that kind of stuff. Those are used to craft your accessories. Okay, so when you when, when you reach the end of a of a run, you will be able to see whatever that you have obtained thus far. And I realized that because this quest, uh, because this this mission is is a loopable mission, we are not going to be able to see the damage that I'll be doing. <laughs> but you can see that like the damage that I'm, I'm my my unit is doing is is really quite a lot. Okay, okay, so as you probably missed it, but you, you could have seen like a bunch of uh, splash stones that I got from this quest. I think like four. So yeah, just wait for your daily. Ah, oh, there you go, there you go. So I got eight splash stones just like that. So one splash stone is able to craft one accessory. Okay, so with this I can craft eight accessories. Something like that. Okay, so every single day, you know, this changes. The element changes. So today is water type, which means we'll get water splash stones. Um, hopefully tomorrow it will be like another type, maybe electric. Right, maybe lightning type or something like that, so I can get all the different kinds of materials to craft my accessories. Alright, so let's do some summons. Um, I have 4.5, so I'm, I'm just going to do 40 pulls. Summon... These are all paid banners, by the way. These are only paid. Right, like I don't have enough blade diamonds, so blade diamonds is the paid-to-play currency. Um, I only have, like I said, just the generic generic diamonds for, for free-to-play players like myself. Okay, so... Uh, spend stones. So hopefully, yes, nice. Okay, so we got an SSR round in the first pool. Uh, SSR is 10% chance, 6% chance for a new unit. So let's take a look. Hopefully we get a couple, more than a couple. Nice! Whoa! Alright, we got three. Okay, so I'm really looking forward to um, light type stuff, dark type. Bow and uh, what's that? Light type, sp uh, lightning type spear, because I'm kind of looking for cash. Is it good? I think it's pretty good. I'm not sure. Okay, yeah, that's that's another thing. Okay, so I just realized when I put cash, uh, another way to further boost your damage is by having um units of like the same element type. Oh my gosh, number six, right? He's also pretty good. Number six. Okay, he's another DPS. Light type sword. Light type sword. Huh. Okay, the reason why I say having the same, the similar element is going to be useful is because, like, for example, you look at this, right? Sand Vortex. Imperial Lightning Assault Blade. Increases attack and magic attack of all lightning allies. So, if you're going to have, like, a whole bunch of these kind of weapons, you want to have them for the same element as well. So, if you're going to have, like, a whole host of units from the same faction or like the same element, you're going to have a whole lot of benefits that way. Light type sword, Valkyria, um, moderately increases defense and magic defense of all allies, uh, of all light allies. Huh. So I don't think I can use this. Yeah, I don't really think I can use this. I can give it to my, to my, to my caster, but that's about it. Reduces cooldowns for healing skills. Yeah, definitely for my caster. Um, well, I have like new units to play around with, let's summon again. Oh, nice! Hell yeah! Okay, hopefully we get more than a couple. <laughs> Again. Oh man, rip, that's only one. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and skip. Nice, water, water spear, right? Uh, but I, yeah, see, that's the thing, okay? Because I don't really have any water type units. I'm not using any water type units, so this is gonna be a bit difficult. Counter current applies a magic barrel to self at the start of each wave. Oh, that's good. Okay, so 
Even though the first auto skill I can't I can't be using it, right? Because I don't have any water type units. However, I can use the second skill because it doesn't matter what your type is. So apply some magic barrier to self at the start of each wave. This is gonna be really really useful for my my tank, even though she is a uh, lightning type. Right? She's a lightning type. Okay, I'm looking for more units. Okay, this is a rip. Because this is no longer rainbow, which means I don't think we will be getting any rainbows. Yeah, there I don't think there's any crit as well. I've never seen any crit before. So there's that, one more. Nice! Okay, yes! 10% working out really well. Come on, let's get a few, let's get a few. End of the day, but bang. Ah, oh, it's just one. Rip. Oh, nice! Oh, okay, so we just got ourselves the light sword, right? And now we got Heath Bell, who is a light sword user. Increases the, rate of, increases the rate of Brave Cage generation when not knocked out of battle. Okay, so he's not going to be a main type unit. So I'm, I'm looking at this Knight of Knights. Increases rate of Brave Cage generation when not knocked out of battle. So Brave Cage is only important for units that are not your main unit. I will talk about this in a future video. So that's it. Yeah, that's it for, for all this. Um, thank you for playing. Are you enjoying the game? Yes, I am, but I will do this after my recording is done. So that's it, that's the end of this video. I hope uh, you have an idea of how to boost your character's stats. Okay, so the biggest, most important thing is gonna be your accessories. Okay, so that's that's gonna be the main player in upgrading your units. And with that said, I hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe if you've not already done so. And as always, I will see you in the next video.